to the Fed today going where no Federal Reserve has gone before. Uh, scheduled this morning to have begun the uh, corporate bond buying program where it will buy uh, primary issues, secondary issues, and ETFs, which include high yield debt. All of those are kind of first timers for the Fed. Let's look at that program. The primary one not launched yet is the biggest part of it. $500 billion where we'll buy new issues of corporate bonds. The $250 billion program, that's what it launched today. And that's where it's going to buy secondary issues. And what the Fed says is a an efficient way of buying these secondary issues is buying these ETFs. Inside these ETFs are going to be fallen angels, which the Fed can buy, uh, but also some speculative grade credit, though the Fed says it's not really trying to buy that stuff. It's just going to buy it as part of the other part of the program, the Treasury providing a $75 billion backstop. So who's eligible? Who can play in this game? Well, you have to be U.S.-based or substantially U.S.-based, have a lot of workers here. You have to have bonds rated above certain levels. You can't get any other support from the CARES Act. And you have to meet conflict of interest rules, which preclude the president, the vice president, members of Congress. Now, the Fed has yet to launch other CARES Act programs, including the Main Street Lending Facility, the Municipal Bond Facility, TAL programs. We understand they're working on those pretty carefully. And Randy Quarles, the vice, vice chairman for bank supervision, saying today in testimony, there may be more yet for the Fed to do, Kelly. Wow. And by the way, Steve, we had this whole negative rates discussion that you, uh, you know, talked about yesterday. Fed policy members are resistant about, but I don't know. I just wonder if there's going to be a groundswell if they'll ultimately come around to it. Well, if, if uh, you know, we could meet at a restaurant one of these days and have a <laughs> steak, and you're right, they do negative rates, I'm happy to buy if we can meet at a restaurant and we can buy a steak. I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm not trying to convince you or anybody. I mean, look, I... I, I, I Ne never say never is the right answer to that question. That's certainly what uh, Rafael Bostic said yesterday. I, I think my point is the right one, that the Fed will try to do a whole bunch of other things before it has to resort to negative rates. It may be worth pointing out that the president urged the Fed to go to negative rates. I think there's a lot more the Fed will try to do before it goes into that.